The views expressed in the following podcasts are illegal in 37 countries, most of whom we really wish we had listeners in. They do not reflect the views of our employers, spouses, friends, colleagues, or generals in the glorious Red Army. Turns out, if they agreed with us, they would get us executed. We'll give them a pass. Your mileage may vary. Welcome to Two and Change. The drinking is real, the people are real, and the opinions, unfortunately, are also real. On this, our 50th episode, we decided to tackle one of our most serious topics that we've ever done. Capital punishment is practiced around the world. None more prevalently. Tim, 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 what is with the background music? Oh, um, sorry. Um, our, our license expired for our normal jingle. I, I had to go with whatever was free. Really? This is, this is all you could find? Well... I had a few others. This just seemed the most appropriate. One could argue no music would have been better. All right, all right. I'm, I'll try a different one. All right, there. As I was saying, according to Amnesty International, 993 state executions were documented in 2017, mostly in five countries, which would include Saudi Arabia. Dr- no, no, this is worse. Much worse. All right, jeez, all right. Um, let, let me try. No. No, no. Okay, here. Hello. <sighs> That's just disturbing. Dude, just, just, just cut. Wait, okay, look, I, I've got one more. How about... Welcome to A Change. This is Josh, and I am drinking Canadian Club 12 Year, 12 year and uh, Canadian Club. Uh, club Soda. Of uh, Club Soda. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're doing keys, thanks. Home. No, no, no. I'm just tired. Um, <laughs> as he spills it on the table literally what just now. What the fuck? What is it with you and spilling shit on equipment? It's not okay, on spilling. Equipment. Well, spilling everywhere around the. That's to because be fair, he's never spilled. He's on never the equipment. spilled on the equipment. He once miraculously spilled, spilled around like everything. Twice. Yes. Twice. And it never recording. touched the equipment. It was incredible. Yeah. It was pretty epic. It was. Captain and not, not one of those times pants. have I actually been drunk when I was doing it. I'm just a. I'm just a klutz. He is <laughs> a klutz, and then now he's a tired klutz. So now you're getting this evening. Yeah. Next next episode, you're getting a sippy cup. It's a mission. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> and this is Mike. I finished drinking some Chevis Regal uh, as well. Uh, I've uh, enjoyed. That went on a few episodes as well. Mediocre, by it's, the way. It's almost like you're out of Tibetan 12, Tim. You drank it all. Well, you Less. helped a little bit. Are you drinking L- nothing? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. You're not drinking anything. I No, I drank I drank the Chef's Regal earlier. W- where's your drink? It's downstairs. I already finished it. W- what? This is a clear violation of the rules. No, no, I, I'm definitely too in. Trust me. It's just, yeah, I finished my Shiva's Regal. I'm much faster than you guys. What's taking you guys so long? All right, we, we need he, a rolling here. He does have here. to drive home at some point. Okay, right? yes, he needs to drive home. Okay, fine. There. Uh, I, I get a All pass. Right. Anyway, and of course, this is Tim. I'm drinking a Shiva's Regal and Club Soda because <gasps> this is awesome. We have a guest. We do. A brand new guest. A brand new guest. Someone people have not met before. Exactly. And not so, just a live studio audience this time. This is an, uh, a bona fide guest. the next episode. Yes, it live is. Studio Stop audience. trying to do time really. Nah, stuff, blah, 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 blah. Just, yeah. Yeah. Figure the shit. Let's anyway. do the time warp again. <laughs> hey, there's, that's copyrighted. Uh, we, we, can't, we can't afford that. Yeah, and here <laughs> yes. at the time. They- Actually, technically with the copyright, you have to get past three bars of the tune. Oh, there That actually is only two and a half. There. I thought I thought it was notes, not bars. Nope. nope. It's actually bars. Bars. Huh. Hey oh. So So that means that we could have done our show is changing a little bit. John Cage three minutes and thirty four seconds, where it's just a bunch of silent rest. How can they prove Wasn't Johnny Cage the guy from Mortal Kombat? Yes. Anyway, Finish Pearly. <laughs> we have Pearly, Thank you so much Pearly for joining on us. the mic. His mic is hot. What's going on, Pearly? Mike is hot, damn. So am I. Oh yeah. Uh, what you drinking? I, roasting. I man. appreciate. <laughs> I appreciate the compliment, even though I no no stop. So okay. it looks like you're, you're a uh, really attractive man. I appreciate. Don't that. think I haven't noticed. I, I, you know what? I'm really rocking the hair. What do you do with your hair? With the conditioner? What, kind what of is hair? happening? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's leaving conditioner. Wow. Now we're suddenly on in living color. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> so, Men on hair, teeth snaps and a twirl. There it is. <laughs> so, Pearly, what are you drinking there? Uh, can of Grolsch. 
Oh, Grosh, okay. Grosh, 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 right? Grosh. Yeah. So we have an informal mediocre scale, like uh, none of whom uh, we actually none of us have rated it not, yet. Not it's established. It's fine. Well, we, we've 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 uh, established uh, with the uh, Shivas Regal. It can be. Yeah, it everything. can be. The mediocre. So I gotta split. ask about the Shivas because I'm kind of curious why you went Shivas. It was there. Okay. Fair well, blend, because a blended whiskey is better with club soda than most other uh, whiskeys yeah, I have. Yeah, so fair, fair enough. That's why okay. I just like, you know, I like, like the flavor. I don't have to justify myself to you. I was, nev- I was never right. a whiskey and club soda guy. No. Nope. Um, if I'm doing it's, a blended, it's a recent. if I'm doing a blended, I'll just take it neat. Sometimes it will change. I like just, this guy. Uh, I like this guy, Tim. We need to have this guy more often. <laughs> he drinks it's it more neat. Of a, it's more, I, I drink neat too. It's just sometimes, especially on a hot evening like now, mm-hmm. I just, you know, want uh it's just a bit more refreshing. It bring also the low sodium content and salt in, of salt in uh, club soda will sometimes bring out some of the flavors because it's just like in cooking, as you know. Oh, Josh crappy. is asleep on his microphone. He's <laughs> drooling. Anyway, and yet he didn't drool on the mic. You yeah. guys are right. He is klutzy. He is. Fuck, he is good. He's a miraculous equipment. klutz. He's a miraculous klutz. Oh, he can work a mic though. And by Mike, I mean penis. Anyway, oh, I can so, work uh, it. I know the drill comes in. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Spit anyway, shot. so the reason I asked you to come on the show is that uh, you, in a way, are responsible for tonight's topic. This is your fault, Pearly. Yes. Oh, of course it is. Of course. So, so like most Pearly. of my family, most things are my fault. There you go. Thanks, so, Pearly. <laughs> so, Pearly, I, what was it about a week ago? Give or you, take. Uh, give or take. You posted a question on Facebook. What was that question that you posted? Or uh, this is the way you phrased it that I think I was more interested in. I could bring it up, but I left my phone over there, and I can't That's remember okay. exactly. That's okay, just sort of uh, off. Essentially ballpark. along the lines of, uh, as long as you're not going to insult anybody else's opinion, but basically along the lines of, what is everybody's feelings on the death penalty? Especially if you can somehow take the moralistic aspect out of the equation. Strictly looking at just the death penalty, um, for someone that has been proven beyond any shadow of a doubt uh, to have actually committed the heinous crimes that most people are actually uh, subjected to the death penalty punishment for. Cool. Mm-hmm. Which which posits a very interesting question because for me, when I argue that point, I'm I you can't get me to beyond a reasonable doubt when it comes to death. That's where that's usually where I stand on that issue. So for me, it's such an intriguing topic. And then it came up in discussion that my friend Will's like, hey, this should be a topic for two and change. I'm like, fuck, okay. It's a sign. It's a sign. (laughs) 50th episode. Let's do something serious. I like how you mentioned the whole can't get beyond reasonable doubt. Listen, um, I can't. Paul Bernardo. I can. Video. Saddam Hussein is beyond reasonable yeah. doubt. That's a man that Saddam tortured Hussein people. Or, or even, you know what? Here, take a Canadian For example. Fun. Canadian example, Paul Bernardo. Video evidence. Oh, we shit. Saw... Am I going to be the only one in this episode? No. Hold on. Hold on. No, no. Oh, thank you. Not necessarily Probably. about whether he deserves the death penalty <laughs> or not, but whether or not reasonable doubt can be proved. Like, okay. Paul Bernardo, we saw the video. Like, Here's it's... the thing. For me, if you want to suck the emotion out of the argument, yeah. you also have to suck the emotion out of things like Paul Bernardo... Paul, blah, 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 blah. I'm not I saying that. I'm not saying that for the emotional impact. No, but but I'm the not thing is, is that if you're talking I'm about simply purely for... as logic, sure, you must suck the emotion yep. out of individual cases. Sure, this would include Paul Bernardo. This would include uh, Saddam Hussein. This include what's his face, the commander up in Ottawa. You know, the guy who liked to like steal women's underwear and like strangle them with them, like that dude, Harper. <laughs> <laughs> You talking with the BTK nice. killer? No, no, no. no, no. This, this is a recent guy. This is like that, a recent guy. This was a uh, fuck. Uh, it was a famous case a few years ago. Oh, hey, he was from the that military. That was definitely not military. Harper. Yeah, 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 yeah. Military, yeah. military guy. He's. Uh, I know who you're talking about. The name escapes me, but I know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, or uh, the Picton uh, pig farmer. You know things like that. So Clifford I mean, Olson, that kind of thing. Yeah. So, so listen, you have these. So I understand needing to remove the emotion from it. The reason I bring up Paul Bernardo is not for any emotional impact of oh no, his poor victims. It's more of a look video footage. We have video footage of him committing the crime. This is beyond reasonable doubt. Now, video is beyond reasonable doubt still. Video can be all. In 2018, we mm. say yes. What it, would we say in 2019? But in 2008. You can't tell me. But we're talking also 19, anybody that 19, is uh, usually persecuted and put up for the death penalty. Yeah. Canada hasn't had the death penalty for 
God, I can't even remember how long. Who was our last execution? It, 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 must, like, have, must have been like the 60s. Uh, 50s, it's, actually. It's been 1950 while, something, yeah. it was somebody okay. that we executed. Uh, I know 50s for sure. For some reason, I was thinking early 70s. But regardless, um, it's also the fact of beyond a reasonable doubt. And I think, I can't remember if it was you that brought it up on the post, Tim, but somebody brought up the fact of what you had 50 years ago is no longer relevant. In yeah, the that, sense that was of me, you can yeah. bring up you can bring up DNA evidence, so on yeah. and so forth, which is a fair or, point. Or or in the U.S. that well, he looked like a Negro. Oh, okay, but I, but his <laughs> that, that his, was executable in the U.S. I think, so I think, but the glove doesn't. I, fit. I think the thing that comes down and the real Just put the real your argument like is this. this. I think when it you're fit. <laughs> when you're when you're discussing whether or not there might be reasonable doubt, you can never be truly sure on something like mer- to t- to reasonable doubt for most things to take someone's life okay but let's say we know the person there's people out there that we know we know they're evil as fuck let's right? like, let's say that we have demonstrable uh, like demonstrable Gaddafi, on all okay. Okay. I don't know why I'm Carter. thinking in the middle but, East Pol Pot like but, but the one guys, thing like, that you're you know, bringing up what, is what, you're, you're bringing you're, up you're bringing political up like, little you're bringing up political leaders as opposed what, what to about, somebody what about that, your is own? A, that is yeah. put to the actual death. I'm just I'm no what let's, I, let's I, put no, let's, no, let's okay, throw okay, Bernardo in there sure Bernardo what I'm just saying is like or or, okay, or the Tor- the Tory staff one of the one case. of the people who yeah. went in and that was a horrible thing. like you and we know that was done beyond reasonable doubt somebody who walked in like the Piggly Wiggly today, and shot that. five people everyone's there and he sat down after right. he shot them and said How's I did this how's about okay. this like, how's about no this okay. we can all Let's agree just... that for the sake of this discussion humans suck humans suck yeah, also that's that first thing yep but that's for the, first the sake rule of, of life but for the sake of this discussion we can discuss that let's take actual citable cases out of it and just say let's say we have a killer that we know today and in the future and in the past doesn't matter what time period it is in this person is guilty yeah let's just say we take the whole question of is this person guilty out of the equation and the person is guilty we know the person is there's guilty. no question about it yeah okay okay good so no then cable, this becomes so shit. that postulates to the second part of my facebook post which was yeah how can somebody be on death row for literally decades? Well, let's yeah. let's, let's and take... still be on death row for decades when they have been passed when the sentence has been passed down that they are to be executed. Truly executed. To me, that's more of the second part of the argument, which is more of a okay, what is the appropriate response of a state in order to execute somebody if this is a decision? The question is from the reading I've done, I can actually a little bit we, of light on that. Is it right to execute this person to begin with? Well, and here's is the, it the role of the state to do this? I actually can, that is the question for me. From the reading I've done, I can shed a little bit of light on that. The reason in a lot of cases why there's people sitting on death row for decades is because in order to actually do the execution, the governor of the state actually has to be on the phone to say proceed. Yes. And in a lot of cases, I'm okay with pers- that. Well, yeah, and here's the thing. If I were someone who was in the position, like, and here's what, again my test for capital punishment, would I be the guy willing to actually pull the lever, do the switch, be the person who actually made the execution mm-hmm. happen and play the reverse hunger game? Except, and would I be willing to do it? And if you can give me a case where, yes, we've got beyond reasonable doubt, like, again, in my version of capital punishment, which this is the only version I'm in favor of, four people in the last hundred years of Canadian history would have gotten it. Four. That's it. So normally when people find out that I'm in favor of capital punishment in certain cases, they think of summary executions in the street and just like this crazy, oh, you were black, therefore you're guilty, and just just killing people left, right, and center. No. Four people, which... If it makes you feel any better, all of whom were white, uh, would be would be executed <laughs> in the last Canada, kill whitey. Yeah, that's yeah. Which you know, and none of whom were native. If that makes you feel even better, then um, the like that's this the, is going to a weird. It this is. is well, well, we're supposed to handle this our topic with well, some sort of fucking levity. God, but, this is getting. Look, Fucking like, but, but look, I know that somebody th- throw a pie or something, I, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, look, here's the thing. <laughs> I know that in the United States there is a huge like. Here's the thing. Capital punishment in the states, I actually think, should be abolished entirely because I don't trust them with it. They can't I don't do trust it with any it. state actor with it. I because yeah, this is the thing though, m- anyone m- that any state that I can name off of that's that's executing people, I wouldn't trust them with it. Well, Saudi Arabia, China, U.S. What yeah. are the other two major ones? Um, 
uh, what do you mean two Singapore, major ones? I think there, there's the five. Philippines right yeah, now. Like Philippines, I mean, what, yeah. what do you mean the two major well, ones? Well, here's the thing, Mister. Actually, do so. So, Mike, you're you're, you're sitting there. There's different yeah. countries right now that actually yeah. have the death. Penalty but five countries do, the, five do most of the executing. Do and most then, yeah. of the executing. Yeah, that's yeah. That's China, that's Saudi Arabia is number one. Yep. Actually, China and, but, is a particularly chilling case because if you think about it, suddenly over the last like few years, there's been like this increasing amount of persecution against a certain type of I don't know religious movement in China right now. The Uyghurs. Was that? <laughs> yeah. Yes. The Uyghurs. <laughs> that's that's legit what they're called. They're, and it they're, turns they're Muslim out, Chinese. And it turns out that a whole bunch, bunch of people, Uyghurs. No, no. There's there's another sect You're as well. Terrible. What do you call there's, a bunch there's of a, them? There's a another bunch sect. of Uyghurs. There's another sect as well. There's another sect Shut as up, well. And basically, they're all being you know sent off to these internment camps, or whatever. And suddenly, we're finding out that afterward, hey, that's all my these people are sitting in. All these people are sitting in, in these internment camps or whatever. And suddenly, China has like fifty thousand more organs that they can give to their patients than normal. Well, then again, if you think about it, but we're also truly getting a topic uh, in the sense we are. Of we always the, do. No, the question. Just, no, just in the simple, <laughs> Welcome to two and change, okay, Burley. <laughs> uh, I'll take my change and food a, stamps, please. Yeah. I need to eat this week. Um, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll order pizza for you or something. There we go. Yeah. But, anyway, so, uh, well, you're saying, okay, yeah. so I think where you were pizza. going is beyond the reasonable doubt. And I think where we were going with this is that do you trust the state to carry out the sentence you know, or right. do you trust the state to establish reasonable doubt now the question is is that we can say reasonable do you, doubt do you in our mind do you include prosecuting attorneys as quote unquote the state yes i do because if somebody is being per, if they someone's are by being definition. prosecuted by yeah. definition yeah. if they are being put to death they are being put to death not in the name of the Trudeau government it's in the name of the crown w. Bush it's under the name of the government the crown which ultimately. is who the crown which is well who it can we actually, are. actually technically it's put in by the people well, it right. is not any, put in any representative no, in the US is put in by the people but it, we still have a queen we, we do we technically still have the queen technically and like that's actually an important distinction like the prosecutor's office like that is the reason why the prime minister appoints all these different positions and appoints all these different people is because we have a crown. Yeah. So yes. when it, when you, the term crown attorney in, in in Canada is essentially you are the as an attorney if you're a crown attorney you are the representative face of the of crown. The crown. Yes. So you are. So it is actually the crown yep. itself. Um, that is. So it is the state. Yep. The irony can also be brought up that we have, I'll say per capita, mm. less people uh, on death row than you would have in the states for an example yeah and for, on that, for prosecutable crimes yeah. and on that thought we're gonna take a quick break uh we're gonna grab three fills on our drink and we're gonna maybe brainstorm a way of making the shit less depressing anyway we'll be right back yay death penalty yay we know In a monotone voice, thank you for listening. I hope you're enjoying the show. In agreement, that sounds scripted. Mike, did you script this gesture to make... You guys aren't supposed to read the stage directions? With a concerned tone, I don't understand. <sighs> Check out toandchange.ca so you can read the blog and see what I have to put up with. Guys? Oh, I lost my place in the script. <sighs> Welcome back to the second half of the show. So, Mike, you're drinking something interesting there. What do you got? I am drinking uh, Zorkova. Zorkova vodka, and I've mixed it with Gatorade. <laughs> this was not my idea. Mike has gone down a dark path. This is not my idea. The vodka was. You asked what to mix it. Well, <laughs> it yeah. Gatorade. I'm so. not experienced with vodka, but I saw the word Zorkova, and I saw and I saw there's a product of Ukraine. So I was like, you know what? I know a Ukraine. He's a dear friend of mine. Yevon, this one's for you. I'm drinking uh, vodka, and because of Tim's suggestion, I'm drinking it with Gatorade. It's well, we not just didn't bad. have anything to mix it with. Yeah. You now, know, the, it doesn't taste bad. It the doesn't. The only problem with it is uh. it's the light purple Gatorade. Well, my wife wasn't feeling well a couple days ago. Oh, no. I bought her some G2. No, so. I understand that I'm, aspect. I'm colorblind. I can't see purple. If, what, if what? you're actually mixing the Gatorade in, the electric blue Gatorade yeah. and vodka is quite tasty. Yeah. I will take him as a subject matter expert when it comes to getting fucked up on weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
Gator, yeah. Gatorade and vodka is a classic mix. It's it like, no I, kidding. And it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, I didn't know it was purple. You got to watch it on the hangover. You would think with the Gatorade it would work, but it's actually the high sugar content. It, yeah, it'll, it you'll feel it the next day. That's fine. Want. I mean, I, and uh, that's just dehydration. Though. I'll drink a glass of water. Well, you and know, I think the, everyone the easiest so. way to cure a hangover just stay drunk. Exactly. I'm drunk now. What I, do they call that? Hair of the dog. Hair of the dog. Hair of the dog. All right. So when we were leaving, was that the, a song by Nazareth? Uh, Nazareth saying a lot of weird shit. They do. <laughs> so before we left on the break, oh by the way, I'm black label and club so nothing I would ask, but thank you. But anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, when we went on break, we were talking about which one we wanted to bring back to the philosophical aspect yeah. of: Is it right for the state to execute someone? Nope. And okay. So, I like how like suddenly I'm the guy who trusts the state and Josh is the guy who does Which is so what interesting. Is so weird to me that this All is right, that So this let's is, let's break this down. All right. Sure. Josh, you had the first reaction. Why do you not now, I'm not saying whether or not you should tr- the question of should you trust the state to execute somebody, I think is ancillary to this here's, conversation. It's going to be something that- is that is it right that the state execute somebody? Mm, okay, that's, that's a different a question. Different question. Yeah. So there's, two, there's two parts to this. Uh, on the philosophical side, I don't think it's... Fuck, this show's deep. I don't think it's... I don't think it's... Is it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's right for um, an entity that is a uh, non-body for all intents and purposes um, to take the life of someone, right? You, uh, Someone has, at, at bare minimum... Um, they should have the right to life, food, water, shelter. After that, you know, like to pursue happiness. If you murder a bunch of people, you don't get that anymore. But you do still get to keep your right to life. At the end of the day, we shouldn't be taking other people's lives because that makes us really no better on a philosophical point. Devil's advocate, though, uh, the one that did take the life, that put themselves into the position to have their life taken, took the life. I uh, will counter that. De- with devil's saying, advocate, by the way. But I will counter that by saying. But this, that's. But the, why does why does that act take away the other act? Take two, away the right. Two wrongs making a right is not exactly essentially where you're going with nope, that. No, nope, no, nope, nope. not exactly. And actually, I can actually answer that question for why sure. that does work. And believe, this is going to sound very strange. Jesus, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, this is this is a Jeebus argument. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, no, this is Moses. Why, We're going old school with this yeah. shit. The reason why Tommy I Jones? believe that life <laughs> for life can sometimes be sometimes can sometimes be the correct answer, like I say, for people in, in the last half century of Canada, uh, is because the life of the criminal has value. And that yes. is that is why it is due because the life of his victim is. Think about it. If the person is like people like to talk about capital punishment for like the one who killed Tory Stafford. People are like, oh, what a piece of trash! He should be killed because his life's not worth whatever. That no, his life. He's a human being, which is why his life and only his life can balance the scales of justice. No, for Tory Stafford, you're confusing mm-hmm. vengeance. Cap- no, 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 no. You're no, no, you're confusing vengeance with I justice. Like that guy. Vengeance would be if his family killed him. Good justice character. is because the state does it, and that's <laughs> why know, it's right? important that it is. <laughs> a non-body entity that does it. That is why it's important that the family does not get the ability to do it. I'm not going to send this, I don't even remember his name and I don't care to, uh, I'm to send this guy into a room. We'll call with, him Todd. With, sure, Todd. He seems like a Todd. He seems like a Todd guy. And Sorry to all the Todds evil. out there. I never uh, met yeah. a Todd I like. But it's, but Sorry it's for our justice. listeners that I know. What does it solve? <laughs> what, does it, what does it solve? Justice. It solves the... How is, ba- how it balances it. It balances, balances what? Tory Stafford's life has value? Or are you a Buddhist all of a sudden? No. No. <laughs> like, Tory Stafford's <laughs> Life. Tory Stafford's life has value. Well, I've got a and her killer's life. On, so. yeah, Tory I Stafford's insult all religions. No, equally, that's, okay? that's he does. but that's just the sense of making us feel better. No, that does, really, no, no, no. That, that's honestly what it is. You're saying I believe balance, in an inherent value. Of, I believe in an inherent value in human life, which is something that is based on faith, and I will grant that. Mm-hmm. But outside right, of that, outside what, of what that, does your faith say about taking a life? That if you take the, if you want to get the actual quote from it, it basically, whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. That's, that's what, that's what it says. And that is something that is not mosaic law or, or like some archaic kind of thing. That is a a principle that you see come up throughout scripture, which again is not where I'm originally arguing from, but that is my basis for well, saying... good thing we're not a... Good thing that our laws are not hold on, based hold off on. of that. That is something <laughs> yeah, that good informs... Yeah, good thing they're not, uh, you know, 20, 20, 20 centuries or hold 10 up. centuries hold of, up. Hold of, up. of laws. That, that is something that is... Technically, our laws are actually homoradic as opposed to anything related to any religion. Fair enough. But, to some extent. What I can tell you is that that is something that simply informs 
how I view human life and the value of human life. That human life does not have value because it evolved from some primordial goo somewhere. It, it, it has life because of how it was created. And because of that, Tori Stafford's life has value. And as such, her killer's life has value, which is why sure. his life is the only thing that can actually balance the scales of justice. Balance the scales for who? For for society. who? For everyone. For society. society. For so for here's everyone. my thing, though. But that doesn't but really who is balance. society? That doesn't really balance. Everyone. Everyone. Yeah, but how does, how? How does it balance it? Because his life has value. Her life had value. Yeah, That's how it balances taking it. away there's his no life. Number, there's no number of years that you but can why? give him in jail that will, okay. that will make up yes, for this. But that doesn't take away, well, that doesn't take away the value. The scale. That, that takes his value off the scale. It doesn't negative the scale, right? So if you put him in prison for life, that takes the value of his life and it, it, it it's still in existence. So if it's actually in existence, but it's, it doesn't have any value, oh. now you're devaluing it. We don't There's do, we don't do life in prison. We don't and, do life in prison. And taking out of it. We don't do life in prison. Sure we do. Yeah, we do. You get... 25 years is your first crack at parole. It doesn't mean that you have to get it. And if you get consecutive sentences, then you're pretty much SOL. Look, this whole, this whole shit... I, I, I by the way, I'm wanna, sorry. I'm gonna go, uh, actually, I'm going to go off on a tangent. Oh, please. Please. These can be fun or not. It's the really, whole <laughs> bullshit I've dr- about how... I've drank how. with you before. There are many tangents. Yes, this is true. Okay. The whole thing... Oh, this well, Canada's lenient. It's fucking bullshit. And here's the thing. Yeah. The whole thing... Oh, well, you know, 25 years, you're out. That's fucking not the case. Yeah. You know what? If you... 25 years is when they can say to you, like, okay, we're going to check some things on a form and see if we let you out. If you're still a fucking nut job drawing swastikas with your own shit on the wall, they ain't going to let you the fuck out. Clifford Olson's a classic case there. He went up for parole. But here's the thing. Clifford Olson went up for parole. It's a bunch. I'm just saying it's a bunch of right wing bullshit talking points. No, 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 no. no, no, All it is. Look, anyway, please continue. Nobody thought that Clifford (laughs) Olson was going to get out, but he was required to be allowed to have his parole hearing. Do you know what he did in his parole hearing? He used the opportunity to mock the victims of his family. Mm-hmm. Why is this okay? Did he get out? No. So here's then the, what's the problem? So here's the, no, but what's here's the, the problem? Okay, no, here's, his fam- the so you know, the, hold on. Here's the principle. He's yeah. still in okay. jail. So here's he's here's, not. He's dead. Why now. is mocking? Okay. He's but dead why now. is so, mocking somebody a crime? Because I have a shitty past. I mock you all the time, Mike. Okay, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Because I have a shitty past. To the pits of misery. Deal with all sorts of yeah, dilly dilly. Yes. Right. All right. And. Um, w- one of them has been a- a- association with pe- with someone who has murdered someone. Sure. So the which we won't go into. <laughs> okay. Um, but this show is already deep enough. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So th- the reality His split is split personality. Is, yes, my split personality. <laughs> uh, Roses yeah. are red, violets yeah. are blue. Exactly. I'm schizophrenic, uh, and so am I. Exactly. <laughs> and so is he, she, me, and I. Um, Love it. Th- I'm anyways. not crazy, but. I am. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the voices um, in my head think you're fucked up. There it is. <laughs> so anyway, if you kill somebody, yeah. you never give the victim the opportunity to have forgiveness, and you can't re- and you can't truly move on without forgiving somebody. As much as that may seem cliche and ridiculous as it, it may sound, it is that simple. There is a reason why it's cliche, but I'll ask you this, and it especially brings up the death penalty aspect. If an animal attacks a human. What do we do? Exactly. Is an animal a human? Is a human not an animal? Ooh. Ah, but. That was the coolest interchange I've seen so far on this show I, right I'm there. not a big bum, fan bum, of, bum. of instantly taking down every animal that attacks a person. I'm not right? a fan of it either. Yeah, like however, I, it is what we do. However, it is what we do. Yeah. Uh, and you, were bringing, you brought up the aspect of, is he still alive? You know, this are reminds they, are me. Are they still alive? I once dated uh, somebody who a Yeti was yes re- I did Yeti. was reasonably <laughs> close. <laughs> oh wait, yeah. no, that's, somebody that's was reasonably <laughs> close to my. Fit. That was an incredibly good Wookiee. No, no, no. Person. This, this is actually that well before Yeti, that. So oh, when well I first that. moved to Canada, <laughs> when you first moved to Canada, I dated this girl who was getting her master's in philosophy. Ooh, and I'm not. Sure. She, she walks around. If, she walks around going, "Why is there air? Why? Why is there?" You no, know, now like, she walks no. around asking if you want fries with that. Ah, there exactly. No, no, no. She she's actually reasonably successful. She's an artist, an author. Actually, some of the stuff she, so she does, like Viking I, I, uh, stuff. I, I, I'm be, teasing whoever wait, this Viking person stuff? is. Yep. I like her already. All right. Yeah, she, she's pretty cool. But okay. anyway, I mean, like. Oh, which actually ties it in, because what did the Vikings do if you killed somebody? I think they, they killed They roasted your ass. Let me finish <laughs> my story. All right. Okay. And, and, some time. Yep. All so right. Anyway, go. she had this, like, I'm trying to remember what the argument was. It's like, and I, I've, I said that. 
well, an ant can't feel pain. And she's like, well, what's pain to an ant? I'm like, Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I don't care. It's a goddamn ant. Exactly. I did not get to this point in the food chain to give a fuck about that. <laughs> That's why, you know what? Don't be an asshole, but at the same time, don't make the mistake that until we come up with a better system of assigning sentience to things like fucking ants. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to sit there and like, oh, well, then in that case, well... If you've ever stepped on an ant or fucking drowned in an anthill, you're a fucking mass murderer. But called I an know every rock and tree. If that's what you're gonna do, has that's a like, life, has a spirit, has a name. Born there's simple free. Sur- <laughs> like there's simple survival, and this is where I'm getting yep. to this point: is that okay? Killing an animal is about simple survival. But the thing is, is that when it comes to other human beings. We sir, we feel we have an obligation to resolve it in one way or another. Back we up feel for a we second. Have a, How okay. is killing an animal simple survival? Because if an animal is attacking humans, no. If in, a, in our society, Canada, if an animal attacks a human, not humans, a human. So, for example, case down. in point, no, my, dude my cats in attacked me yeah. before. No, hang on, hang on. It's still in the house. Yeah, no, no, you're no, an no, asshole. No, no. You don't count. Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> better example, better example, dude in Mount Bridges, Ontario, owned a pet tiger. It's Mount pet Bridges, tiger it killed him one count. day because dude had a pet tiger. Um, and, <laughs> and this and is a <laughs> failure of society. Fine. Oh, a dude please, in fine. Mount Bridges See, can own a tiger. Case point, why say I, Mount I, Bridges? I, I, I thought... But I kind of wish that dude's first name was Calvin. Right? And yeah. I really wish he was I would have named the tiger Hobbs. <laughs> oh, totally. But we destroyed that tiger. Yep. We did. We destroyed it. Because Which is a fucking failure of society uh, more than anything. Before or after okay. the guy But here's the thing. Do- here's the thing. If we say A, do- a dog attacks killing. a kid. Yeah. Okay, a dog that attacks a kid. If you're arguing that we shouldn't be putting dogs down, then why are we ta- why are we putting humans down for attacking other humans? He's more just talking about uh, like the entire argument. But I'm as a whole. but I'm but I'm saying I'm looking that, at I'm looking at no, the argument my argument of why is entirely. I think he's over there. By the way, I'm not a vegan. I do eat a lot of meat. I think he's over there just (laughs) being the guy that's going. But why? (laughs) This is why I wanted him on the show. (laughs) He's actually hitting. He is hitting on something interesting, though. My whole thing is, is that we need a consistent argument society. And yes, I mean, should an animal be put down because it attacks a person? I don't think that that's necessarily the case. The problem is, is that in society, we have certain priorities, and unfortunately, some of our priorities don't align towards animals. They align towards people. But you touched How on else one can of the key Isn't points. that natural, though? You touched on one of the key points. That you we don't want think survival that, of people. You don't and think guess that, what? that's necessarily the case. Is there at any point where that case can be made? Well, sure. We didn't get to the food chain. We didn't get our spot in the food chain by being timid about this shit. Yes, we kill other animals. Brutally. You realize you're making my argument for me here. I don't think I am because the thing is, I think I'm entirely consistent that, yes, I am a human supremacist. That I believe human that supremacist. I am. <laughs> Stop I'm talking. not ashamed like, of this. I am. That's this, nine. This, Nine. <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, that's the title of the episode right there. Human supremacist, and that, that we're rolling with this. This, this is great. literally sounds like an episode of Futurama. <laughs> Look, the the way you're, you're, you're part of dupe, aren't you? <laughs> Let's put it this way. I think that what you hit on earlier was actually pretty much exactly what this all come boils down to. When when Tim said, uh, "Are are animals human?" and then you came back with, "Are humans animals?" But pain that's to exactly an ant. Why the fuck are we talking about this? Exactly. That is my point. It's a red, red, the ant. It's it's a red, red fucking herring. It is. No, it's, it's a red, a red ant. So what it's if a red you, ant? So if, you, <laughs> so if you kill a red herring. With, a, with a, <laughs> If a group of red ants kill a red her- herring by, while a human watches from the direction of the human, what does that mean? While it means nature is lit. By an That's what because that any philosophical <laughs> yeah. uh, what would really call system the- or philosophy out there. Any philosophical philosophy? <laughs> system. I'm, in, trying, to, I'm in, trying to think in, of a... In, I'm the, trying di- to in the dictionary, I'm like, redundant. Um, it says, see redundant. Pearly, yes. <laughs> Pearly, you have read Aristotle, haven't you? Like, I'm just reading that into you right now. You've read Aristotle? One of the biggest just... pieces of crap I ever had to read. <laughs> oh, okay. And yet, you seem to be borrowing so much from him. I appreciate it. I'm just, I'm just thinking our that... Whole, our whole society is based on if A equals... B and B equals C, then... That's Aristotelian logic. Yeah. All That's right, all right, all right. So this, yeah, oh, this is like... This is turning into a weird philosophical thing, so... So I'm going to... Fortunately, it's about time to wrap up the Already? show. Already? Pearly, you're the guest. I will give you the final thought. Go. Make it count. There is no such thing as a right or a wrong answer. 
it is a debate Ooh. that's going to be happening forever. Personally, I feel if someone kills another human, or sorry, let me rephrase that. If someone is a serial killer, a serial rapist, serial pedophile, anybody that even serially eats cereal, hurts dogs, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> their finger looking good. No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Kentucky Fried Dog. <laughs> That is a that is a delicacy in certain places. China? <laughs> Kentucky uh, Fried Chihuahua. <laughs> oh man, I can picture the commercials now. Yo quiero Taco Bell. <laughs> That's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, to be fair, I did go to Popeyes a couple weeks ago. I'm yeah. pretty oh, sure why? that wasn't chicken. Why? Because yeah. oh. I've had Popeyes in the U.S. Popeyes it's not the, the U- same. Popeyes in the U.S. is great. Yeah. Well, whatever they do up here is fucked what? up. How do you fuck up fried chicken? They do. I don't know. KFC. What and Popeyes both fly I've very, been, we've I've very, been, but very now, but now been I've been to the promised land. I've been to the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I've had U.S. fried chicken before. Uh, no, uh, sorry. I've had I've had Popeyes chicken before. I've never had fried chicken from the States. I don't know how it's different. Maybe I should go down and try it. Sometime. Go to the States. I should try it. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah. It's I've had churches chicken on Now, do I have to go to, like, do I have to Kentucky Texas. or can I go like to Port Huron? Okay, now here's the thing. Well, no, Port Huron is like Canada Junior. Okay, so right. I need to go to so Kentucky. So here's the thing. If they serve it with fries, yeah. no, you're in the wrong place. Okay. If they serve it with biscuits, you're in the correct place. Biscuits? So I'm now going to the, England? Is that what you're even saying? Even if Shh. they offer, even if they offer biscuits, but still have fries as an option, yeah. you're still in the wrong place. Yep. Okay. It's got to be the place where there are no fries. So you're saying I'm going to Only Kentucky biscuits. or Oregon or something. No. Anywhere south of Michigan, you're probably... <laughs> okay, Ohio, maybe I'd make no, it. No, you're not far enough. Right. You need right. to go. Ohio's not south. Nope. Anyway, we're coming to the end of the show. Yeah, I just yeah. want to thank Pearly for coming out and... Uh, you know, I keep thoroughly it honest. enjoyed. And I how did we get to this. Kentucky Fried Chihuahuas? This is great. <laughs> and, 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 I think how our show goes. To be fair, to be fair, that's a breed of dog we can all do without, couldn't it? And you know, comment about building the mountain just made me think he ate way too much White Castle sliders, and that's a different kind of mountain that gets built. If you've ever been, trust me. Well, anyway, if you're enjoying our show, check us out on Podbean, Spotify, iTunes. Make sure you check out our website, twoandchange.ca. 4chan. Check out our... <laughs> we do are not on 4chan. The next time we yes. want to be fucking confused about philosophy, we'll definitely invite you over. Pearl. There you go. <laughs> anyway, for two and change, and you, I'm. Oh, sorry, and if you want to be happy, send a dollar ninety nine too. <laughs> exactly. Two and uh, sixteen hundred Pennsylvania. <laughs> exactly. Caro. Happy guy. Jared Kushner. <laughs> Running. All right, for anyway, for two and change, I'm Tim. I'm Josh. I'm Mike. I'm the guest guy, Pearly. We'll see you next time. That was so we. Fuck. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is our, we, this we is our intro. intro. Yeah. Fade out. Yeah. Fade out. Fade out. It's a fade out. It's a thing. So right now the music is going. I totally am having it's like a loud intro flashback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Picture it's in your mind. Like, wait, yeah, it's, yeah, it's great. Have you, you, ever, you, know you know, know, know how many times people have told me I should cosplay as white kid? I don't think I'm going to do that. Oh, no. Do you have a black shirt? Do you have a pair of jeans?